In this lesson, you're going to learn how to make studio quality bass tracks using your iPhone. Hi, I'm Luke from becomeabassist.com, and if you want to learn how to make professional sounding bass tracks for less than 60 bucks, then hang around and check this out. <laughs> I've said it before, but I love living in the time we do. If you don't want to hire a massive studio with a huge budget, you don't have to. You can still make great sounding recordings on your own bass using nothing but your iPhone in some cases. Of course, you can't just plug your bass straight into your phone, so you'll need something like this. Now this is an iRig 2. It's like a mini audio interface that lets, uh, lets you send signal to your phone. Now there are other ones around just as good as this one, but I picked this up for about 60 bucks Australian, so I'm guessing these things are even cheaper in American dollars. And if you're running an iPhone using iOS, then this is literally the only extra thing you need to buy to start making great recordings of your bass. So that being said, let's jump in and record something. Now this whole process couldn't be simpler. All we need to do is plug your bass into the iRig right here, so obviously in that one right there. And then your headphones as well need to go into your iRig or whatever interface you're using, you know. So this one goes in here, easy enough. Uh, actually, I lied, this process could be simpler if these phones still had a, a headphone jack, so you need to get the little dongle thing, plug the iRig into that, and then that goes into your phone. Now, as far as, uh, you know, as far as hardware goes, that's pretty much all we have to do. Now, there is a, a uh, gain function over here. I'll probably just put that to about halfway. We can always change that later. Well, that's all the way down, all the way up. So halfway would be about there, roughly there. And so as far as hardware goes, that's all we have to do for now. Now the best part about using an iPhone like this is that there's already software in your phone that's pretty much perfect for recording uh, the kind of stuff we want to do. Uh, and GarageBand comes standard in all iPhones, at least that's true of the time I'm filming this video. I have no idea if that'll change in the future though. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll open up GarageBand, and the first thing we'll do is click on this little plus sign here, because we want to make a new track. And we'll get all these different options. We've got keyboards, sound libraries, drums, amp, audio recorder. I'll just do a bit of this actually. Get all pro with it. Here, yeah, so we've got strings. Uh, bass. Now this is uh, one that we don't actually want because this is like a kind of smart bass option where we don't actually need to plug anything in. But we want uh, either, where are we? Uh, either guitar, oh no sorry, I'm not sorry, that one. Here we go, we want, where is it? Amp, and we have this little bass option here. Or we can do audio recorder. Now the audio recorder, uh, it'll just give you a direct dry signal of your bass with no real processing. But what we want to do is uh, pick amp setting over here and go to bass down there. Yeah, so this uh, that will give us a few different options to choose from in the kind of processing of the dry signal. Uh, in this version of GarageBand, what have we got? We've got a modern amp, a classic, flip top amp, and a direct box. Uh, but you'll notice something if I grab my bass over here and play something. Don't have any signal at all. We're not getting any signal coming back to us. Uh, and that means uh, if we want to record something, we won't, you won't be able to hear yourself as you're playing, and you don't want that, right? We want to be able to hear ourselves. Now this one is an easy fix. If you go up here to this little little button up here, it'll bring up this uh, kind of page here. Now this is super important. The one we want to change first is the one down here that says monitor. That's going to let us hear our bass. So now if I play... Yeah, we're getting tons of signal there, that's awesome. Let there be sound, right? Uh, now this one uh, down at the bottom here is a, a noise gate, so if you've got a particularly like noisy bass or one hisses or buzzes, this can uh, you know help out doing that kind of stuff. This bass is actually pretty loud, so I'm going to set that to about there. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it starts hissing there, and gets to about there, and it stops. Yeah, so I might maybe just a touch a bit more, and that'll be fine. Uh, now, you can play around with that and make sure you're not, uh, you're not getting any, any background hiss or buzz from your bass. Super, super easy. Now the top one up here is your input level. Basically how much level are you going to feed to the track. Now you don't want it to be too high, otherwise you'll get kind of really nasty digital distortion. Like that kind of stuff. Ugh, it's gross. You definitely don't want that. But then too low, and your bass will be too quiet, yeah? And you can also mess with the, the, the gain setting on your iRig as well, over here. But, let's, let's, let's leave that to where it is right now, and let's put this, let's see, let's just have a play around. Yeah, you 
a nice thick sound, but not so thick that it kind of distorts. Uh, I guess you want more of a, a kind of slim thick sound. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's play around a bit more. If I really dig in, I'm not getting any of that nice digital distortion. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. Okay, so that we go a bit further, we get some distortions. I'll bring that down just a little bit. Okay, cool. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Now if uh, if you click done, you can actually start recording right now. Just click the the red record button up here and check it out. Yeah, directly to your iPhone. Now this is cool and everything, but it gets really fun when you actually have something to play with. So let's let me go back to a track that I've uh, kind of put together. Call it Fun Times because that's you know all good. And it's just a bunch of guitar loops at the moment. If we go over here and have a play. <laughs> Yeah, that's all it sounds like. So if we want to record something uh, to that, it's going to sound something like this. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So that's it. Very simple once you know how. Now if you're just starting out and not sure exactly what to record, you can start with some simple beginner bass lines. And if you want, I have a set of five of them available on becomeabassist.com. You can download the tabs and notation, and there's also a video showing you exactly how to play them. So just click the link in the description or this card up here. Uh, feel free to watch the video or go, or go straight to filling out the form on that page and you'll be sent the tabs for the songs completely free. To recap though, you learned how to record professional sounding bass tracks using your iPhone. You learned that you needed some kind of interface to plug your bass into, like the iRig 2 that I was using. But once you're in, you just have to make sure that you can hear, hear yourself by turning on monitoring and making sure that your gain was set to roughly the right place and then you're pretty much off to the races. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate having you with me. I'm Luke from becomeabassist.com and hopefully I'll catch you in another video soon.